Holy shit, we're back. It's Comic Book Nerd Nation. I'm Fox 2, we got Pirate. Holy shit. Holy shit. We're back. Brian. Um, I knew I smelled some shit. Uh, I should have thought about that before I, before I started the podcast that way. But, you know what? It happens, and I'm tired of uh, talking about what's going on, nerds, or whatever the fuck I used to say. So I'm, I'm searching for a new intro. It'll probably be different every week until I find something that tickles my fancy. That's right. What you? That's fancy? right. I said that. I, it... I said it. <laughs> I said it. Don't act what, like what is, what is What is your fancy? I don't want to know. I don't know. And why did you ask what is his fancy? Yeah. You don't want to know. Yeah. Also a very valid question. Point pirate. Because I got scared. I think we need. Scared. I think. Uh, I think we need to implement a scoring system for our podcast. Kind of like whose line is it anyway? The points don't really matter, but when you come up with something clever or funny, you get an indiscriminate value of points. Just whatever. Works for me. Seem, seems like it would be fun. Right now, pirates leading, one to nothing. Uh, yeah. So I picked up some new comic books this week. Um. Actually, I don't know if they're new. I just there was a a comic book store in kind of in the area. I don't know. It was like twenty minutes away that uh, I've never been to before. I went and checked it out, and it was awesome. I absolutely loved the place. I got Thanos number one, uh, which I actually really liked. Um, I will probably. Yeah, I don't know. Is that is that the only one in the series that's out, or are there are a couple of them? No, there's two. Already. Okay, that's what I thought. <clears throat> so I'll probably continue on with that. That series, that's pretty awesome. Thanos, it's uh, so far it's a story about Thanos coming back into power. Um, so that I, I really enjoyed and that he, book. And he's really sick. And he is sick, yes. Um, so we don't, at least at, at the end of ep- issue one, I don't know what's wrong with him or anything like that. But um, I don't know. We'll see. I enjoyed it uh, to did my you? surprise. Mm-hmm. I did. Yeah. And then I also picked up uh, the lead-in to Suicide um, versus or Justice League versus Suicide Squad because I'm waiting on my books to come in uh, at my local comic book shop so that I can start that series. So I, I got Suicide Squad number eight, which is like the lead-in to it, uh, apparently. Although I didn't see a whole lot of lead-in. Um, so I'm not really sure exactly at this point, what the hell the Justice League versus Suicide Squad story is all about. <laughs> it's a lead-in to a lead-in. Is it? That's okay. Exactly what it's about. Oh, okay. I mean, it wasn't a bad story. I, I might even buy the next Suicide Squad book. Um, so, to my surprise, uh, some of the new stories are not half bad. I guess you just kind of have to pick and choose based on kind of what stuff you really enjoy. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I also picked up, you can kind of see it over my shoulder here. Um, it's a Coda Bakia. I don't really want to go get it. It's kind of heavy, maybe next week or whatever. Um, but maybe the fans want to see it now. Oh, you are such a dick. All right. Yeah, as I say, don't tease. Have, have, uh, Brian, have you read any books lately this week? Talk about um, statue. This week? No, I haven't. Uh, I didn't have gotten to pick up shit yet. Which just reminds me that I have to. But while Doug's away, we'll tell everybody how. I don't know, John. So yeah, uh, he's back. I don't even know what was said, but it probably wasn't good. No. Um, off the point. We didn't read anything. No, no it wasn't good as an entertaining good. Uh, so this is uh, this is the statue that I got. It's about 16 inches tall, Thanos. It comes with two different um, head po- head pieces where he's like making different faces. I like this one best. Uh, he's kind of like gnashing his teeth. Um, it does disassemble into uh, one, two, three, four, like five parts, five or six parts. Um, oh, that, that, was, that was a snap too? Yeah. But it's much heavier. It's a porcelain statue, not a. Um, oh, you have a porcelain figurine. It's not a uh, porcelain doll, like a polymer one, like the other 
Code of Bakia artifact statues. This is a, a this is a different series than those. This is the Code of Bakia fine art statues. Um, on the Code of Bakia, I was really surprised to see it when I got there. I I was like I was looking at it, I was like I've never seen this statue anywhere. Like not in any other store, not at a comic book convention, not online. So I was really like, all right, we're back. Um, some technical difficulties there. I'm not really sure what was going on. My computer's just acting a little bit crazy, but whatever. Got it fixed. Um, so this statue is not, um, it's Code of Bakia, but it's not the Art Effects series. It's the Fine Art series, which is, it's like made out of a different material. It's heavier. It's larger. Um, it's like twice as tall as my Avengers Hulk. Um, and I would say about the same height as the Hulk Buster, the uh, the Artifacts Hulk Buster, for the the Hulk versus Hulk Buster com combined statue. But on the website, on the Code of Bikio website, it, it says that comparison right now. The fans want a size comparison. Uh, no, too bad. I'm not going to get that one down. Um, it uh, it says that this isn't going to be released until like March. So. I was really surprised to see it in a store, so I kind of jumped on it. It was a little more than I normally pay, but um, I really like it. It's a nice addition to the to the collection, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So that is my purchase for the week. Um, you can see, and it comes with the, I like the base with all the skull. He's kind of standing on a bunch of crushed skulls, which is always kind of cool because one of the things I like about nicer statues, bigger statues, are the uh, environmental elements that they have. Like, there's some Spider-Man ones where he's, like, swinging off of buildings and it has, like, light poles and parts of buildings. Or, like, Superman versus Batman where they're fighting and there's, like, a little bit of a cityscape kind of behind them. I don't know if you guys have seen those statues. It's more like a diorama. Yeah, I, I, think it, I just think it adds a lot to to the statue but um i don't know anybody else pick anything up cool this week or i picked up um a very gyro a what from a gyro like from chippendales rescue rangers no. like are you mispronouncing the sandwich yeah are you yeah oh okay i thought you were talking about the helicopter kind of device or like a gyroscope yeah I like gyroscopes. They're so, fun. So you had you or had you say gyno. You had a and you went to like the lady Bart so lady you parts went, doctor. You went and got your vag piece checked out. Yes, that it's makes... ceramic. I bought it off of eBay twelve years ago. Well, that um, makes a lot more sense than eating a gyro. I would say why? Because you guys don't call it gyros out in the Midwest. Um, at least in the world. I mean, maybe when we were. When we were like twelve, the world as a whole calls it a euro, but I mean that's just like the right way to say it. I don't know. I mean, I don't think anybody it would be like York pronouncing. It a year. It'd be like pronouncing your name Brianne and saying that's the proper pronunciation. Um, but we could call. We oh, could we do that. We could definitely call Brienne. you Brianne from now on. <laughs> call him Brianne now. The whole effing Brianne. The whole effing Brianne. Um, <laughs> with her beautiful camo hat. Uh, right. So <laughs> apparently Brian ate a helicopter. Um, mm -hmm. Or the thing that spins around on the bicycle. Right. Yeah, it could have been that too, I suppose. But definitely wasn't a sandwich. Um, yeah. So did you guys hear about... Oh, <laughs> yeah. Did you guys hear about <sighs> what's going on with the Flash movie? Um it no. is going undergoing major rewrite uh, <laughs> with writer Jody Harold, and they're calling it a page one rewrite. Um, <clears throat> that can't be good. Uh, I mean, so that, does that mean they're just rewriting page one, or does that mean they're writing page <laughs> one and on? They're writing rewriting from page one. From page <laughs> one, they're rewriting it, and they. That's that they actually went as far as to define what they call a page one rewrite. Involves substantial changes to the script that could include changes to characters, story, and structure. So, so they're redoing the movie. Pretty much do-over. Yes. They call it a mulligan. 
Mulligan. Yeah. <laughs> um, that is not a good sign for that movie. Uh, and it's supposed to be released next next March. So for it really? to be going over an entire rewrite now and still then have to be approved and then They should practically filmed. be almost done with filming by right. now. Right, and then all of the editing. Uh, either this movie's going to be shit or it's going to get pushed back. I think the timeline got messed up in the script, so hey, they Brian, had to go back. Brian, whatever you're doing, timeline. it's super loud. I'm just adjusting my ass. So like every week. Yeah. Pretty yes. much. Where he's over there like fucking doing his taxes again while we're trying to podcast. Way to be a team player, oh, asshole. Oh, do those. Uh, uh, speaking of taxes, I just got a notification that mine was deposited into my account. What? That's hilarious. You <laughs> That's already hilarious. got your money back from your taxes? Shut yeah, up. I literally no way. just seen it just pop up like, Bloop. Damn, Trump's even doing have some all good my things fucking... with this government. Talk about efficiency. <laughs> Man, when Obama Wait, was sorry, president, it took me like two months off. to get my money back. Trump's been in office for like Wait. ten fucking days, and he's like, let me just confirm this. Quadrupled efficiency. That's nuts. It's probably because no one in his staff can actually do math, so they just made it up. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, did you get the wall tax yet? <laughs> yeah. The wall tax. So yeah, it's fucking in there. <laughs> damn, that's nice. That's what I'm talking about. I can't wait. To talk, talk about it. talk about coincidence. You talking about taxes, and it's just like bloop pops across my screen. You willed it into existence. <laughs> Thank you. Trump's like <laughs> ask, and you it. shall receive. <laughs> uh, no, you have to use baby hands if you're going to play Trump. What? Baby, baby hands. What's what's that? Because he has baby hands. The form probably said, oh, you're a white male. Here's your money. <laughs> How Lobster. I respond with taxation is theft. <clears throat> um, Deadpool. The Deadpool movie was not nominated for an Oscar this year. But, but Suicide, Suicide, Squad, Squad. Suicide Squad and Doctor Strange were both nominated for Best Visual Effects. Uh, Doctor Strange, sure. Amazing by... I don't see how Deadpool wasn't at least nominated for an Oscar. It like it was the highest gro- grossing R-rated film in the history of R-rated films. But it didn't have Will Smith. It doesn't matter. It had Just Ryan saying. Reynolds. Oh yeah, he's been nominated for so many Grammys before, hasn't he? I don't. Is this the, this is for a Grammy at the Oscars especially? Since the Grammys are for musicians, yeah, and yeah, I mean Oscars, uh, he's uh he's gotten so many, right? I have no fucking idea. Is this the one where they like nominate themselves and shit? Like, it's only actors and shit that. No, there's a there's that's the that's the Actors Guild know. Award, mm, or Actors Choice Award. I don't think so. I think I think the Oscars are. Like self. The Oscars, you have to be nominated. It's not self. It's by like. Well, it's the, the committee. It's by the Academy. Somebody's got a ton of reverb coming through their computer too. A ton. Reverb check. Is it me? No, I mean it's. I can hear myself talking because it's coming out of someone's speakers and back into their microphone. So I'm not sure who it is, but it's special. This Who is gonna, a remix? This is gonna be a really. Sure Brian, this is a really sure awkward and weird right episode. I'm not gonna lie. This feels totally disjointed. That's because you started off weird. Uh, yeah. Okay. Too bad Chris wasn't here for it. I guess, but it could be because nobody's offering up any opinions or anything on any. That could be taken as a joke, or seriously. Logan, my mic level is going to jump through the roof if I talk too much for some reason. The uh, the Logan movie officially received a rated uh, an R rating for strong, brutal violence and language throughout, brief nudity, brief nudity, and terrible special effects and fight scenes. <laughs> Didn't I say last week it was going to be rated R, and then somebody was like, "No, it's not." The director I mean, was, was that... saying was that it wasn't going to be. Was? Mm-hmm. I remember. Oh, okay. Mm. 
So, I'd, I'm sure there was any way this thing wasn't going to be rated R. I don't know uh, why yeah. they thought that. I still don't want to see this movie. I like. I still think it's going to be awful. Oh, I still do. I mean, I want to see it, but I'm just like, how bad? Bad enough to go to the theater, or bad enough to download it illegally? I'll I would, I would never theater. download it illegally. Yeah, I'll probably see it in the theater too. I mean, I sat through Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad, so I'll sit through Logan. I still don't think Batman v Superman was that bad, and the Suicide experience... Squad definitely wasn't that bad. The extended version of Batman v Superman was good. The The first viewing of Batman v Superman was very confusing. It was. Very. I didn't hate it, but it was. I spent a lot of the movie going, huh? Wait, what? (laughs) Yeah. I agree with Chris on that one. It made somebody's worst. Both those movies made somebody's worst movies of 2016. Says mine. Uh, yeah, Oscars definitely. It's actors nominate other actors, filmers, uh, film editors nominate other film editors. It's all a big incestuous, like jerking each other off thing, which would explain why Deadpool didn't get nominated. Hmm. So it's just basically a bunch of fucking uppity rich people stroking each other's egos, and then. Somebody thought it would be cool to put it on TV. Yeah. Probably the worst night in television ever. What were the nominations for Best Comedy? Uh, Let me look. Oscar nominations. Because I feel like that's probably what it would have been nominated for. How about the complete list? Jesus, can we get a fucking abbreviated list hang on let me pull it up here did we just lose brian uh yeah he doesn't really pay attention yes. anyway though so <laughs> oh he's back we lost brian's noise to officially lose something you have to have something first <laughs> yeah i guess that's a good you guys point. don't have me and it wasn't at hello either <laughs> Hang on, let me uh, try to find this here real quick so we can discuss. I thought it was I thought it was going to be like readily apparent. Yeah, <clears throat> I thought it was too, but I can't seem to find hmm. it. I'm not sure where I. Oh, here we go. Um, okay, do you want me to read all of them or just best comedy? Best comedy. I mean, wouldn't isn't that what you'd think you... I'm not sure that there is I mean, a, what category would you think the movie would fall into? There's not a Best Comedy Award. Exactly. <laughs> the fucking Academy is like... They, they, don't, they don't like comedies. They have a Best Picture that's the only movie-related one. The rest of them are like Best Actor, Best Supporting Actor, Best Documentary, Best Director. Oh, because no, it's normally like... I feel like there's normally like best actor in a comedy, best actor in a drama. No. Didn't they used to do that, or am I, I think that's shit I think that's different. Another maybe one. that's like a the different award show. Movie awards. Some something else for sure. Um, oh, yeah. Rogue One was nominated for best visual effects. Yes, it was. Anyway, yeah, so. Uh, I. Oh no! I'm sorry. Best visual effects was was Doctor Strange, and then best makeup and hairstyling was Suicide Squad. What? Oh right. There's a category for makeup and hairstyling. <laughs> yeah, three nominations. A man called Ove, O V E, Star Trek Beyond, and then Suicide Squad. I still haven't seen Star Trek Beyond. It's actually pretty yeah. good. It's actually, it's really, actually really good. I mean, obviously they got that nomination just because of Rihanna's makeup, but whatever. Rihanna was in that movie? I was just say, oh, Rihanna was in it? I didn't know that. Pretty yeah, sure. I, mean, I, maybe I didn't, didn't watch it either. Maybe I, <laughs> She's I, pretty I, good at putting on makeup after I her could be. I could be completely... Oh. You know what? I could oh. be completely <laughs> speaking out of terms here. Let me... Oh. <laughs> Damn. I actually am not sure if that was her... 
now that no, it's totally not her. I'm an idiot. She did this. She did a bunch of the soundtrack. Zoe Saldana is the person I'm. Okay, no, no, I'm no, like no, that's Lieutenant of Her. Yeah. What's yeah? That's the chick who's always been who's in it. Who's the isn't uh, it? Sophia Butella? That's who it is. Jayla is the character. I don't even know who that is. Yeah. It's the, it's, white. The, it's the chick it's the chick with the no I, I mean I don't know who the actor is I know who the character is from the previews I don't know who um, the, it's part of the Wu-Tang she's Clan. been in fucking <laughs> basically Clan. nothing you've probably ever heard of okay. just King, name them maybe she, was in, of she was in Kingsman the Secret Service oh that's I said oh, okay. I've never seen that movie so I don't know. oh dude that movie is awesome is it really or are you just yeah it, it? no it really is dude no, that movie's pretty cool. Have any of you guys seen Arrival? One. Uh, I started. What is Arrival? Huh? What is it? It's is about alien it's movie? about aliens. For a hundred, but <laughs> you must answer in the form of a question. I really want to see it. <laughs> I, I we watched like the beginning of it, and it looked really good, and then uh, and then just, I don't know. Didn't didn't watch the rest. Got tired. It was like fucking twelve thirty. Mm. I pretty much didn't do anything this week except drink. Nice. You beat some high scores on a Galaga game or something, didn't you? Donkey <laughs> Kong or some shit? Donkey Kong. <laughs> Let's talk about that story for a moment. <laughs> uh, so there's this coworker of ours. We'll call him Josh because um, that's his name. And... Uh... <laughs> 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 we recently got like this arcade cabinet thing at work with like I don't know, it's actually just running like a a, a PC in there with a you know, monitor that uh, has some emulator on there with a bunch of arcade games, but it's got like you know the arcade stick and, and buttons and everything, which is pretty cool. But every time I've walked past it, like since we got it like a couple weeks ago, it seems like Josh is like always there and he's always playing Donkey Kong and trying to like, you know, get further and further and every time I watch him he does pretty well at it and then I look and he's got the entire fucking high score list like the entire goddamn thing every single one of them is him and I'm like well that's ridiculous Old JPR. so so, uh, so Fox and I decided to go out drinking last Saturday a little day drinking after we recorded and um, <laughs> and after I finished I was like you know what we I was, went, uh, in, in all fairness we went pretty hard for like a twelve thirty in the afternoon drinking session. It was yeah, especially since we started at eleven thirty. Yeah, <laughs> see, we couldn't even remember that we had drank that morning too. Um, but uh, yeah, man, that was that. Was, I mean, that was a whole other story. That the fact that you know twenty four taps and almost half of them were all stouts, which is my favorite kind and they were all like fucking imperials and they were all like 11 like, percent or higher yeah <laughs> and we're was, just doing was, samples of pretty much all and, of them and i had all of them um yeah so uh so i have to pass by the office on, on my way home from that place and um and i'm like you know what i'm gonna i left my sunglasses here yesterday um and i guess somebody got a pair of earbuds swiped to the week or two ago so i probably let, shouldn't let shit sit out on my desk so i stick my head in and i'm like i'll go grab my sunglasses and as i'm walking out i look over and i'm like oh see that arcade that, camera that that way. I arcade thing staring i haven't you. really taken a i haven't really taken like a serious go at that yet like fuck it i'm gonna do it <laughs> so i walk over there on a saturday i just happen to be in the office and i'm like what game do i want to play because there's like 150 games on here and i'm like I'm playing Donkey Kong, and I'm not leaving here until I beat Josh's high score. <laughs> and we just lost Topher. It only took... Bloop. Okay. And Josh just got his revenge. Yeah, Josh just ddos the shit out of him, apparently. <laughs> um, all right, anyway, on to the next news story. Um, so I don't think we discussed it last week. Uh, maybe it hadn't been dropped yet, but the Star Wars uh, Episode Eight movie has gotten title. its official title. Brian, talk about it. Be involved in the it's podcast. The last, it's the last Jedi. What it means, we have no idea. I think they're going to I seen a meme the other day and it was the funniest shit ever. It was the Star Wars of all the titles. The Force Awakens, Star Wars, 
the last Jedi or the the last Jedi, and then it says Star Wars from sleep <laughs> or something like that. So like, it says the Force awakens the last Jedi from sleep. Yeah. <laughs> the Force awakens the last Jedi. Jesus. Or from his nap or something. Topher's picture down at the bottom is hysterical. Uh, I just want yeah. to throw it's that. It's just out. frozen. It's just frozen. Oh, the corner. there he goes. Oh, that's what He's happens on. when you talk about a good thing; it just disappears. Um, I don't know if this was official before it's, now, that went out. or if it was just a rumor. But The Rock has definitely signed on to play Black Adam. I know it was a rumor. No, that's and, been official for like five years. Yeah, it's no, been it definitely hasn't been. It's been a long, long time. Yes, it is. He's no. been signed on to that role he for a long time. He just signed the contract. He might have just signed the contract, but he, he's They've been... They've been talking about it for a long it. time. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think there's talks of it like not being a Shazam movie, but actually being a Black Adam movie. No, there talks about there being two, a Shazam movie and then a Black Adam and movie. And then a Black Adam movie, is that what the deal is? So they're going to give him a standalone film. I like it. I mean, yep. I've I've been a big fan of this ever since he started the rumors that he was going to be Black Adam fucking, what, three, like you said, three, four years ago. I just, I don't, the way that DC movies are going so far, I hope that, I hope they can get their shit together. Like, I'm really concerned with this Flash rewrite situation. Like, that doesn't exactly instill a lot of confidence like you don't hear a lot of about a lot of marvel movies that are getting like major rewrites a year before they're supposed to be released like a year before they're released they're like wrapping on filming and beginning editing like they're already filming uh the black panther movie when's that supposed to come out next year like okay but when next year uh, probably summertime i'd say or fall I think it's May. May? Okay, so maybe, I don't know. But but the point is, is May, uh, this, the Flash movie is supposed to be out in March, and they're already filming Black Panther. February 16th, 2018 for Black Panther. Okay. All right, so I guess if they can rewrite the movie in a, and start shooting within the next month, they'll be okay. September. <clears throat> here's an article from September 3rd, 2018. 15. Rock confirms Black Adam casting. Fuck off. I hate you. <laughs> you know what? If you don't like the news stories that I pick out, maybe you should present some to me. Third. I don't like him. <laughs> uh, did you guys see where Black Flash is coming to the Legends uh, of Tomorrow TV show? i seen that, yeah. That looks Man. super awesome. Yeah, I like the rip face mask. Yeah, too. that looks awesome. I hope that they do like a Kota Bakia of that. That'd be pretty sweet. That would be dope. I would buy that for sure. Brian, what do you think? Um, hold on. Let me look at the picture. I don't actually think that's that's um that's not from the TV show. Um, are you sure? Yes, I've seen that picture before. Somebody rendered Barry. Oh, really? Man. So this is yeah. So that's just fan art that they used for the article. Yeah. Well, that that's... sucks, dick for money. And then I jumped over the last barrel and I saved the princess. <laughs> okay, welcome, welcome back. <laughs> you guys get all that? Yeah, a hundred percent. You definitely God, greatest story ever told. You definitely don't need to go over it again. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, so that pretty much covers all the news stories that I've got for the week. Um, did you guys see that? Um... Tang is forever, <laughs> and they ain't nothing to fuck with apparently. But um, yeah. did you guys see your bonds? The uh, the new M Night Shalom Shyamalan movie. Shalom, what say? Shyamalan, 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 Ding Dong, Shalom, Shalom, Ding Dong, Shyamalama. Yeah, it's going to be the next uh, Unbreakable, right? Unbreakable too. Yeah, it, it, it actually. Oh, really? Apparently, the post credit scene. Spoiler alert! If you haven't seen it, shows Bruce Willis 
from his Unbreakable character. In what? For what? Split. In Split. Yeah. Really? Yeah. In the movie Split. Yeah. I'm not seeing that. Is that a new movie? It's his new movie. Yeah. Split. Oh, that's the one where um. The dude has Jim all the Professor X's uh, the powers young Professor goes out X. crazy. You can't yeah, talk over beca- each other. Professor X becomes his son. <laughs> Professor X becomes a son, and yeah. Professor X has split personalities, and he kidnaps these women. It's not really Professor X, though, right? No. It's James no, McAvoy. It's, it's, it. uh, it's right before he becomes Onslaught. Okay. Cool story. So, yeah, anyways, uh, Unbreakable 2, you know. I didn't like the first one. What? I didn't either. I fucking love that movie. Really? I was actually, the when DVDs came out and I actually bought a DVD shit. player, uh, the first two DVDs I ever bought was Fight Club and Unbreakable. The movie's terrible. The Matrix. I love that um, movie. I've watched I actually, it a lot. I actually agree with Let the Record Show that Fox and I agree on something. Yeah, I, the um, movie was awful. That movie was, on this day, I would rather... January 28, 2017, Doug, Fox, and Chris Topher have agreed. Yep. It's in the I, books. I would rather watch Batman Forever twice in a row garbage. than watch Unbreakable once. Well, yes. Opinions are like buttholes. Everyone has one, and no one wants to eat them. So, I believe the no, statement I'm pretty is sure that everyone has that one, and yours them. stinks. <laughs> I like mine. <my> <laughs> mine stinks too. John, Pirate likes to play with his opinion. I mean, butthole. <laughs> um, right. Anybody else have anything we want to talk about other than John's hairy asshole? I'm Brazilian wax, bro. Oh, God. That motherfucker's smooth. Now I know he likes to play with it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't... I need an adult. <laughs> I think we all do. <laughs> I, think a, I think this is a common issue. Um, yeah, well, I guess if we don't have anything else to cover, that's pretty much it for this episode. A little bit of a short one, but it's just like Pirate's Wiener. I'm Fox, too. See you next week. We got pirate. It should have went the other way around. I'm the I'm the little wiener pirate apparently. And Topher. <laughs> oh, this episode sucked. <laughs> yeah, sure did. And Brienne. <laughs> I'm gonna go get myself a gyro. All right. Hey, when you get into it, fly it over here and we'll go get a beer. <laughs>